Okay, so we're going to go into Blackboard and download the DLive software that I provided the link with. And it's DLive version 1.84, and it's the DLive director software. You can download this for Mac or Windows. I've already done so. Just say yes to everything, download it. Um, so when DLive installs and opens up, uh, you need to select the, the surface and mix rack. So our mix rack is a CDM48, and that's the brain that is in the booth. And the surface is the C2500. Um, <clears throat> and our laptops and computers will pretend to be the surface in this, this aspect. So that's good. And that, this is going to take a second to pop up. Great, here we go. And so we're going to go to system right off the bat, select USB drive. Um, I don't know, in your documents or somewhere clever, you want to name a folder. Um, audio mixer, underscore your name, and select that folder. Uh, if you need to make a folder too, you can, um, you can always make a folder real quick, new folder and then name it and then select it. So we're gonna select that folder. That's our that's our USB stick. Uh, if you were to stick a USB from your PC to the mixer, they would work seamlessly. Um, and off, in online mode, it's looking for an IP address all the time. We're not gonna be using this. Um, but in offline mode, this is the same settings we just saw with the model CDM48 and the Surface, the C2500. Um, you can play around with the window modes in here. I'll let you do that on your own. Uh, I have I have two monitors, um, so it's sometimes it works out really nice for me. Um, but in main, we want we get this view in main. So up here are your this is your bank one. Um, we can see bank one here and bank two up here. And whenever you click on one, they pop up and they become bigger here. So bank one is the 12, the 12 channel, and bank two, um, bank two is the eight, eight channel. And then here, if we click on this middle window here, um, this is the same thing as the touchscreen that's on the mixer itself. So right off the bat, we're going to go to surface. Up, oh, sorry, right off the bat, we're going to go to utility. And we are going to load front of house. Um, this will take a minute. Recall that show. Uh, yes, we want to recall it. So this is a default show that everyone has. Um, and this will get you squared away and at the same point that everyone else is. OK, and then now the show in utilities front of house is recalled we can go to scenes and they have set this up for us this is from the manufacturer c2500 strip assign we will recall that as well hit go so now we've, we've loaded the show into the board and now we're calling it different scenes if you get that um so that this this generates um a great setting where all these all these faders are already done up for you so it's a one-to-one -one, um, and then it goes into some special stuff so in the theater we have channels 1 through 48 as a one-to-one -one down there um, there are more channels available to us that are on the surface of the mixer itself but we don't really use and they auto automatically generated some FX sends uh, microphone talkback and things. On the other side, in layer, um, so this is this is bank bank two. Um, this is DCAs, which we use to program different scenes for the musical. Um, and then you have groups, just groups, large volume of um, large large volume like. A great way to control a bunch of volumes at once. Sorry. 
Um, same thing with aux, so now you're actually going on stage or could be a conductor, stage manager, one location where you have a speaker attached to this. Um, and then the UV stereo aux is too. So there's a lot of flexibility in here right off the bat. But what I'd like you to do is go back in to your bank one here, and then we'll go to layer A. That's what these are. You so A through F, um, and then hit select, pull up this screen, an IP one. We want to rename all of these with the sheet I've given you, um, and then we want to build off this file, um, and we'll be building uh, the musical together. We might as well. Uh, so this is a great start here. If we go, if we go into Surface, we can see the two banks and what is routed where. So if I click on one of these channels, I like block select. So if I click on one through 32, I can put them anywhere else. So I can click them here, and now they're all in bank two, and the overflow follows the A. So A, B, C, D, uh, like a, like so every eight channels it, it knows better, and it automatically does it. Um, so I'm not going to save this, so don't do that. But so rename all these. Um, I just want I just want you to see this. Rename all these, and then go go back in here, go to scenes. Save your scene with your name. So once you've saved that, and then go into utility, store your show. <coughs> Okay, uh, and then so in class, and then we want to copy it to USB. Um, so that in class store show we just made is now on the USB. You can go back into where that's located. So for me, oops, that's in documents. That's in documents here, and then in Allen and Heath, this is their default setup. The, the, they create this once you connect it uh, in shows. I actually have in class one and in class two. Um, <clears throat> and you'll send me the file that you store. So, so that should get you off to the races. Um, name all these, name all these uh, with the naming convention that I provide with the attached, and send me the file.